So what, what I would like to show, um, and not on SD1, but on one of our other systems, um, one of our other systems, um, This is our SP1 system, which you guys have not been given access to yet. It's another solution manager system. This one is, the problem with SP1 is that there's an issue with the Java stack there, so certain things which I want to show you here, I'm going to show you on the SP1 system. Again, you know, Aura SP1 is a user, right? Aura said, or ADM, which is SP1 ADM, right, is a user as well. So what I want to show here first is um, and I'll connect to it as well. Let me just take this call. I think it's one of the students who's lost. Um, let me connect to SP1 um, you guys don't need to do it. I'm, I, I just, I'm showing this for a certain reason here. Um, as I told you that um, once I'm logged on to the system, right, system status, Excuse me, guys, again. So, when you do system status, right, it is going to, uh, am I sharing? Yes, I'm sharing. It's going to tell you what operating system and database are you running your SAP system. And, uh, you know, and in this case, you know, it's running on Linux, and it's running on Coach VM Server 2 as the host, right? That's the operating system and the host on which it's running. And this is where I want to show you the different work processes uh, for ABAP and Java, right? Which we were just talking about. Um, right, so I just want to make sure that we can establish the relationship between what we are seeing here in the PDF file versus what we see at the system in the back end, right? So this is a key concept which uh, you guys need to pay attention to and understand. Um, so this is the SAP GUI portion of it. Um, and here is what I'm seeing at the back end, right? Um, so first, what I want to show you is that the Oracle system is running at the back end, right, so that you can see all of the Oracle work processes, right, and we had talked about earlier, right, that that's simple, right, PS minus EF, and I'm just going to grab for Aura to make sure that Oracle work processes, the core Oracle instance processes as well as the shadow processes are running, right, and that's simple, right, and we can these are all shadow processes, and this is your normal Oracle instance, right? Smon, Pmon, DB Writer, right? All that stuff running. Most important, what I want to concentrate now on is um, most important now. What I want to concentrate in is to show you the SAP ABAP stack work processes, right? Um, so what what we said here is 
if we look at the diagram again, is SP1 is a dual stack. That means it's got Oracle with both the schemas, and it has got ABAP stack and Java stack, right? So first, I'll you know, just just so that we can show all aspects of it. Um, what I'd shown to you earlier was on the SD1 system. Um, Same thing here, right? First, um, I'll connect to SQL Plus, right? And we just want to see both the schemas, right? And we see the same behavior here, right? It's a Solomon system as well. Key point, right? SAP SR3 is your ABAP stack. SAP SR3 DB is your Java stack. It's a dual stack install, so you're seeing both of those, right? So I just wanted to first concentrate on that. Now, coming to SP1 ADM, right? Um, if I if I come back to my system status window, my SID is SP1, and my system number, this is what the server name tells me, is hostname underscore SID underscore system number, right? So 00, zero is the system number. Um, a zero, 00 system number typically is also known as DWebMegs00, D-V-E-B-M-G-S-00, and I'm just going to show it to you. And you will in a little while know why is that acronym there. So I'm going to first do PS minus EF, grep SAP, to kind of see, you know, what that acronym looks like, right? Here it is, DWebMegs00. D D V E B M G S DBE BMGS zero zero. Right. And their number of work processes, right, which are running under this instance, right? They are all listed here. And we're going to focus on this a little bit, right? Um, to figure out which of these is the message server, which of these is the dispatcher, which are normal work processes, right? Um, but they're all listed as D plus W means dispatcher plus work, SAP SP1 underscore DWebMex 00, right? So this is all on the ABAP stack side. So, um, what I'm going to do is now grep more effectively, right, because I know the instance name, right? Now it is only showing me here the work processes for that instance, right? Um, the important point here is is the following, um, and this is a certification question as it uh, relates to us right now. Um, and let 
let me if we look at all of these work processes here most of them these two numbers if you have done a little bit of unix you would know that these two numbers are not parent and child processes but process ID and the parent process ID, right? Um, so it's giving you the process ID, the PID for this process, which is 187, and PPID, the parent process ID, which started it. And as you would see that they were all started by 28088. So they are all started by another work process, right? And what is that other work process is up here, which should have a process ID of 28088, right? Right here, right? This guy started all of these work processes. And this guy itself, this guy itself was started by this person here, right? And here you see the first difference that instead of DW, it is MS. Yeah, sorry, yeah, uh, 28063, right? So this one, is the SAP start, right? This is where the instance got started up, right? And, right, uh, so, so by root, and 28063 was the process ID for the SAP start command, which instead went ahead and started the message server and the dispatcher. Right. These two are very critical, message server and the dispatcher of the ABAP instance. And the dispatcher, and you cannot make the difference out just by looking at the name because they're all DW. And the certification questions revolve around this, right, because they will actually give you these screenshots. You cannot make out the difference just by that. You can only make out the difference by looking at the PPID by the parent process ID is that this is the dispatcher. Why? Because it was started by SAP start. And once it got started, 28088, it started rest of the work processes. Right? Because all the other work processes have been started by it. So if we come back to our diagram, you have seen the message server, the work process for the message server. You have seen the work process for the ABAP dispatcher. Same thing here, right? Message server, ABAP dispatcher. And you have also seen all these other work processes as well. Very important point, right? So you have seen the message server. You have seen the ABAP dispatcher, and you have seen all the other work processes as well. To look at these work processes in SAP, and we'll come back to this transaction again, but briefly the transaction is SM50, which I'm going to execute right now. So this is.